video is a video response to someone I'm subscribed to. Her YouTube name is C Bookman, but um, her name is Tiny B. Um, the video is titled Girl Talk, My Family Hates My Boyfriend. Um, in the video, uh, the video was um, in reference to a girl that contacted her and the girl was like, um, she has a boyfriend and her boy, um, her family hates her boyfriend, they despise him. And he doesn't care too much for her family, just as much as they don't care too much for him. But his family loves her. Um, and what, what, should, what should she do? Will it get better or um, yada, yada, yada. And Connie B responded, um, basically, you know, your family is, your family kind of comes first. And um, when your family, usually when it's like that, your family is looking out for your best interests and such and such. And I, I agree with Connie B a lot. Like, I, a lot of what Connie B said in her video, I agreed a lot. But um, I wanted to do this response to give a different perspective on this whole thing. Now, um, when I first met my hubby, uh, we, like, um, if you've seen in a couple of my other videos, we didn't date very long before we can see my son or whatever, so... Anywho, fast forward, um, when I found out I was pregnant, that was my, my family's first time ever meeting him. So, that was strike one for him because all my other boyfriends, they had met, they had, you know, had some type of rapport with, had some type of bonding with, some type of relationship. And here I am, I'm coming up pregnant. I'm 19 though, I'm like, I'm semi-adult. I ain't well, I'm an adult in a legal state, but you know, I'm still young. So here I am, 19. I'm pregnant, and this is the first time they're meeting my baby daddy now, hubby. So like that was strike one for them. They were like, okay, um, we don't, we never met this guy. We don't know who this guy is, and now Dominique's pregnant. So that was strike one for them not liking them, and them liking him because they didn't really know him. And then um, we went through a lot, like. In the first, in the beginning of our relationship, with my son being conceived after four months, us having other issues, um, I have a video on those other issues. You can click right here and check that video out to know that the other issues that we had. Um, and we just had like a lot of instability, and we our relationship just wasn't right in the beginning. And so, granted, they had a lot of reason not to like him. They could not stand him. Every chance they got, they, you know, they had something negative to say about him. But, my, the, the thing was, my reaction towards my family was different because in our case, we had a child together. So, it was more, more than just boyfriend and girlfriend. We had conceived a child at the time, you know. So, like, as far as the negativity, I had to get to a point with my family when I was like, you know what? You can't do that because at the end of the day, However y'all feel about him, that's how y'all feel about him. I'm still with him. I'm still going to be with him. He's still my son's father. So, number one, all this negativity and all this talking crazy and stuff, it has to stop. If it's not stopping for me, you at least have to stop it for my son. Because I'm not going to have my son have a preconceived notion or opinion of who his father is based on how you guys feel about him. So... I had to step to my family in that sense and tell them, you know what, I know how you guys feel about him. I totally understand how, why you guys feel this way about him. But at the end of the day, this is who he is and you guys have to respect it. Now, once our relationship was on the right track, I was still getting the, you know, negative feedback or whatever from my family. Then I had to step to them and, again and let them know, listen, now it's different now. We are starting a foundation. He's more than just my child's father. He's more than just my baby's daddy. How y'all feel about him is how y'all feel about him. He's not going anywhere. I'm going to be with him. I love him. He's my son. He, he's my son's father and everything else. So y'all going to have to respect that. Y'all going to have to respect my relationship. Y'all going to have to respect my union and just deal with it. Y'all don't like him? Keep it to a minimum. Everybody's an adult. You guys don't have to like him. I'm not asking for you guys to like him because at the end of the day, this is who I'm with. You guys don't have to be with him. I'm going to still be with him. But you guys have to be cordial. Because I'm not going to be in a situation where you guys are talking down to him or talking about him. And he's right there. And you know, as a man, he can't really respond because he's trying to respect me. Which he was put in a couple of times. And which he didn't. But he did voice 
he just wasted the way he felt to me after being put in those situations, which is why I had to deal with it and if it ain't above. So, that's why I say this is a different, like, I'm giving a different perspective on it because a lot of time your family is right. And in that instance, my family was right. My family was very so much right about how they felt about him and why they felt that way. And they had the right to, you know, have to feel that way about him. But I knew in my heart that it was more than what met the eye with us. It was more than what was going on at the time that it was potential for a better relationship. It was potential for him to be a better man. And I just gave it a go. And now, well, almost seven years later, we are together. Um, everybody loves him, like, to the point, whenever we get have issues, like, if we get in the smallest of arguments, they're taking his side. Like, any, if he's, like, if I raise my voice at him, they're like, oh, why you yelling at him like that? Why you yelling at that man like that? Or... Anytime there's any little function, they're like, oh, make sure you bring Rashad. Or is Rashad coming? Because, like, now they've come to see what I've always seen in him, even when he wasn't giving me what I always saw in him. And not everybody loves him. So, like, your family is your family, granted. And I truly wholeheartedly agree with that. Because a lot of the time, yeah, you're going to have some family members that's not out, that's not for your best interest. But uh, if you have a healthy family relationship, nine times out of ten, they're out for your best interest. And if you're with somebody that's hurting you or, you know, that they feel like you can do better, I can hold a hearty understanding, you know, respecting your family. But in the same token, if you're with somebody that you love and you have a relationship with, and then when you get married or have children, when it comes to stuff like that, that's your new family. I mean, that's in the Bible if you want to get religious or technical. But once you have a child with somebody and you get married with somebody else, that's your new family. So that is your new priority. Hold on. Yeah, like I was saying saying before, granted, like your family wants your best interest at heart. But once you get married to somebody, when it goes beyond boyfriend, girlfriend stage, and you have children together, and they don't like your other half, at the end of the day, your other half, your husband, the person you have, so you have set a foundation with, the person you have kids with, that's your new family. Your husband and your kids are your new family. So your your family that you grew up with have to respect your new family and your new priority. And like I think someone commented on her, like they don't have to date. What it is? Um, they're dating you, not your family. And I agree with that. I mean, like I said. Overall, I agree with everything she stated, but I just wanted to bring another perspective on it. Um, so go ahead and comment. Leave me, um, to my subscribers or to anybody watching this video, go ahead and leave me your point of view and comment. Rate, subscribe if you want to. Oh, yeah. And follow me on Twitter. Twitter name is right here. And until the next video, I'm out.